Hello friends, this video on integrals part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 6. Let's take some examples of uh, indefinite integrals and I'll try to solve some questions using inspection only. That is, I'm trying to find the solution using the reverse differentiation way. So in this case, I have to find the integral of sin x that is I have to find sin x integration of sin 2x dot dx this is something I have to find that means I have to find anti derivative of anti derivative of sin 2x correct See, please note I can solve the question using different ways, but since this is the first uh, question we are solving and trying to solve this by inspection, that is anti derivative. So, in this case, I want to find an anti derivative of this guy. That means I'll say let anti derivative of sine 2x be some function capital fx in that case d of fx by dx is nothing but sin 2x correct because I have to find fx capital fx and I know that if you differentiate this guy dfx you will get sin 2x I have to find this now I know that now I know that this is by my memory that d by dx of cos 2x is equal to minus 2 sin x correct sin 2x this is by memory I know that because I am trying to get sin 2x similar kind of figure here the same thing if I rearrange and try to make sin 2x here I will get minus 1 by 2 right into d by dx of cos 2x is equal to sin 2x correct or 1 by 2 I can take inside because it's a constant or I can say that d by dx of minus cos 2x by 2 is equal to sin now if I compare this equation with equation number 1 and 2, if I compare this equation 1 and 2, I can see that fx is nothing but minus cos 2x by, so that is my answer, plus c actually, plus c, some constant, why, right? because this is if you take any number this plus some constant actually so see derivative of cos 2x is minus 2 sin x correct but if you take some constant here also it will give you minus sin 2x only so you can take some constant here also plus some constant so here you get some constant see so fx is minus cos 2x by 2 plus some constant so this is one reverse engineering way where I am trying to find integral by inspection. Here, I the only knowledge I should have is I should know how to find derivative. And this is something which we have learned in the last chapter. So, using, using our previous knowledge, we are just trying to solve the integral question. Let's try to solve one more question with the same uh, reverse way inspection. So, let's assume here also we have to find need to find anti derivative of of e to the power 2x and let that be some function fx that means d by dx of that function is equal to e to the power 2x correct now with our knowledge we know that d by dx of e to the power 2x plus some constant is nothing but 2 into e to the power 
टू एक्स करेक्ट और इफ यू टेक दिस गाय हेयर बिकॉज आई वॉन्ट टू फॉर्म इक्वेशन ऑफ दिस फैशन सो आई डिवाइड द होल थिंग बाई टू सो वट आई गेट इज डी बाई डी एक्स ऑफ e to the power 2x by 2 plus some constant plus k by 2 is also some constant is equal to e to the power 2x. So if I compare one and two, I can say that my f(x) is nothing but 1 by 2 e to the power 2x plus some constant k, and that is the answer. Normally we use c by convention, so you can use c to be on safe side. So here also. We found integral of this, right? We found integral of this. We can say that e to the power two x dx is this guy because this is f x, right? And that is nothing but e to the power two x by two plus c. So I found the integral of this just by my differentiation knowledge. So here I am not using any formula of integration as such. Just I know how to differentiate with my differentiation knowledge itself. I am finding the Integral. Let's take one more example just to make ourselves comfortable. Here we have to find the integral of this guy, a x square plus a x plus b whole square. That is, we have to find a x plus b whole square. That is nothing but antiderivative of this function. And let's assume this guy is f x. So in that case, my d of f x by d x is equal to a x plus b whole square. Correct. Now, just by observation, if this is square, we know we know that we will will write by observation that d by d x of a x plus b to the power whole q. Let's see what the value is because that will be something of this form plus K, you take is nothing but three into a x plus b whole square, correct? Into a, and I want to find this guy, so let's divide everything by three. So what I can say that d by d x of a x plus b whole q by three a. Plus some constant is equal to a x plus b. So my equation number one is this. Equation number two is this. If we compare these two equations, I can say that f x is nothing but a x plus b whole cube by three a plus some constant, and that is the answer. See, this step is the critical step. This is something by By our experience, since we have done so much of derivative question, we have we are expert in the derivation, and that's why using our expertise in derivation, we are able to solve this question. If you are not expert in derivation, please watch the derivation videos first. Clear your concept because we wanted to find something of this fashion, so I took a x plus b whole cube because I know that this guy will become a x plus b whole square here plus some num into some numbers here. So ignoring that part, since this was q, is, since this was a x plus b whole square, so I preferred a x plus b whole cube here, and then I try to divide the whole equation in such a way that I get a x plus b whole square, so that I can compare equation one and equation two to get f x. Correct. That is the approach we follow. Let's take one more example. Here also we had to find a x square plus b x plus c again by inspection way. So let's assume that guy is f x. So in that case, I have my function d f by d x such such way that this guy is equal to a x square plus b x plus c. Now, by our experience, I can say that this guy f x can be, or I mean, we can say that we know that. How do we know that? By experience, we can say that. So we can experience. I know that if I take x cube, a x cube, d by d x of a x cube, this becomes three a x square. But I want a x square. So divide both the side by two. Correct. That means d by d x of 
ax cube by 3 is nothing but ax square. First part is done. Similarly, for bx, if I take bx square here, right, what I get is 2bx, but I want bx. So divide to both sides. So that means d by dx of bx square by 2 is nothing but bx. This part is all gone. For cx, if I have d by dx of some cx, this guy is nothing but c. So this is d by dx of cx is c. So if I add all this, just by my derivative express, I can say that d by dx of ax cube by 3 plus bx square by 2 plus cx plus some constant because the derivative will become 0. This guy is nothing but ax square plus bx plus c. Correct. Now, if you compare this 1 and 2, you will find that this guy is my fx. That is ax cube by 3 plus bx square by 2 plus cx plus some constant and that is my answer. So if you see now also I am not using any property of integration as such I am just using my differentiation knowledge to find integration of this. Why? Because I know that integration is nothing but anti-differentiation, reverse of differentiation. So just by my differentiation experience since this was ax square I knew that d by dx of ax cube by 3 is ax square similarly this is bx I know that d by dx of bx square by 2 is bx and this is c I know that d by dx of cx is c so this is the value of fx thank you visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos Try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.